What are we doing today? I guess we'll just go back to the same block, right? It's pretty popping over there. Same block? You don't want to try a new block? Uh, I mean, we kind of know what we're going to get, and I do want to use... Oh, okay, that's a little BTS. I had to, I had to do it, I had to do it. I feel like we know what we're going to get there, so I feel like... Uh, Done. It makes... I, we got to use that block at some point, you know that's what I mean? True. So, that's true. And it's such a good block, but... Again, you're featured in this episode, so I will let you decide if you want to be there or not. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna, we gotta redeem ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have my glasses. I don't even know if I'm in focus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. What's going on YouTube? Stock Easy here, and today we have a brand new segment for you called the One Block Series, where two photographers shoot one block. We're gonna put us both on opposite ends of the street, and then we're gonna shoot that area for about 10 minutes, no one crossing over the middle of the block, and then once that is done, we're gonna flip sides. Now the purpose of this is so that you see two photographers' eyes seeing the exact same thing and how they are prone to look at different things. I have a special guest today, Gajin, as you guys might know from YouTube, I've been featured on his channel plenty, so it is an honor to have him here today. Thank you for the hospitality. Nice to be in this nice space as opposed to my four by four office at home. <laughs> um, That's a lie, he has a house. <laughs> I have an apartment, so. Should we tell him what happened last time I was here? Uh, well, okay, so we're faking the funk a little bit. We shot this before, and uh, somebody, and I'm not gonna name any names, uh, formatted their card and lost the file. I'll fall on my sword, guys, all right? I, I lost half of the images, so we had to do it right. That's why I'm back here, so thank you. Yep. Uh, same block, we're gonna do the same block. Same right? block, we're gonna shoot the same block, which is a right. famous street in Chinatown. If anybody saw the recent John Wick movie, it is in there. He goes running down Pell Street, so that's where we're gonna shoot, and we'll catch you guys outside. Oh, wait, wait, I wanna say, we're actually gonna shoot this whole episode on our GoPros. The last time we had some of Gajin's lovely family here that helped shoot the video for us, but this time we only have our GoPros, no cameramen, so we're just gonna do this on our own, and hopefully this turns out just fine. Uh, what camera are you shooting with today? Uh, X-T3. X-T3. Actually, why don't you step in here and show them yeah. the rig? Yeah, so right now I got the X-T3, have to do the shutter release over here. Uh, I think I should have went with a shorter strap. I don't know about this. This is my, I feel like it might get in the way. Possible. You know, you know this is the problem when you come to New York though. This guy sells you on everything. So I now have the 1628 lens for this. I didn't have it. I didn't think I needed it. Uh, last time I was here, you let me yours for a couple hours. Mm. I was sold. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be shooting with what you guys know, my X Pro 2 here. Uh, I have the 50 millimeter f2. This is one of my favorite lenses on here. But you know what? Pell Street is a little tight. I wish I had my 16 millimeter. I don't. So I think I might go with a 50. I have this old copy of the 35 millimeter 1.4. This thing is slow to focus, so I won't be, um, you know, doing any wizardry with my camera today. Godwin's gonna be getting those cool angles, but I'm just gonna be shooting straight up, single point, and maybe, uh, see what happens. yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. this, this is like calling an audible in the NFL. Just last minute, he <laughs> just swapped out the letters. Just throw a little wrench oh, in the lens real okay. quick. Okay, you ready? Okay. Are we doing this? GoPro's on. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Let's get it. After you, sir. Thank you. So I got just a little bit more than the front element. Oh, sorry. Hello. Yes. All right, there it is. All right. We've arrived. We are outside and we're gonna walk over just to Pell Street here. Now you guys know my secret location, my hideout. <laughs> one of them, right? You only got one block of it. Listen, don't, don't try to come and find this guy, all right? This is, I know there's some big fans out there. Don't try to <laughs> stalk him and try to find out where he's at. <laughs> Show a little restraint, okay? What's going on? There's a lot okay, going on. Okay. But this, there's a lot going on already, but this is not the street that we're shooting on. No. We're going a little bit further to Pell. This is, I believe, Doyer. Yes, this is Doyer Street. It's a very famous block. But we're going to be just ahead here, right there on Pell Street. Are we doing a coin flip again? Uh, you want it? For, for a dramatic I think one. we do it for a dramatic one. Oh, Did you bring one? I didn't bring one. Oh, okay, no. we'll do a lens cap flip. A lens cap flip. Lens cap flip, oh, okay? Boy. Okay. Fuji film is heads. Call in the air? Yeah, let's call in the air. That was a oh, wait a terrible minute. That toss. Wasn't, that wasn't I'll let you toss. do that again. Oh. Gonna, all right, here you go. I'll I'm just gonna, gonna I'm gonna flip it up. So, you call it? You call it. All right, I'll you're, call you're it. You're the guest. All so, right. 
Uh, Fujifilm logo is going to be heads. All right. Bottom is tails. We'll right. pull it in the air. Heads. Yeah. That didn't even rotate. You got to do it one more time. <laughs> that didn't even rotate. All right. All right. I don't feel so bad now. Here we go. All right, ready? Ready? Heads. Oh, it's tails. Oh, it's tails. I am going to start on this side of the block. That side. What is, what is that? This uh, west side. The, I think that's the west side. West side, right? Yeah, it seems both, right? It seems west. Yep, that's the east side. I'm going to start on the west side of the street. Okay. Uh, you're going to start on the east side of the street. Done. And real quick, just so you know, let's point these at each other. Yes. This is the middle of the street here, right? This is... We're just showing everybody right now. This is the middle right of the street. Right under the golden horse. Right? All right. Boom. So the point of showing you that is so you know that we do not cross over this spot. No. Right? Nobody's going to cross over here. You're going to work your side of the street for 10 minutes. I'm going to work my side of the street for 10 minutes. And then we're going to meet back here and we're going to switch sides and keep shooting. Done. Right? Cheers. Let's uh, do wait this. Wait a minute. One more thing. Oh, we need to set an alarm. 10 oh, minute timer. Oh, all right. All right. Set, set a timer, timer for 10, 10 minutes. minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, now. look at that. Boom. Okay. Uh, hold on, it's Siri, so it's, oh, it's gonna take man. 10 minutes to what set that timer. No. All right, there we go. I'm okay. ready now. Cool. I'll see you in a little see bit. See ya. Peace. All right, guys, I'm on my side of the street right now, and we're gonna start rolling. Uh, obviously, um, as you saw from that intro, I, ch I chose the busier side of the street here. Um, Gajin is way down there right now. Let's start working in this area and see what's happening. It's a pretty nice beam of light going straight here, so I'm trying I'm trying to work this for a little bit. All right, competition has started. Let me tilt this down so you can see the lens. And I am gonna to talk to myself. So I can get some reflections. Religious figures. And someone walking into frame. Probably a single individual. Got all kinds of really nice light patterns here. It's not much to shoot though. This is going to be a little bit tricky. But you know what? It's all about persistence. It's all about challenging yourself and getting, you know, outside of your comfort zone. I'm feeling okay, but I don't know how to actually do this. I don't know. I've got a nice smile there. I don't know how to actually adjust this camera. See? If, you know, if this audio doesn't make sense right now, with Jason, whether you're listening to this or whether you're playing this for, you know, the people that are watching, I'm acting like I don't know how to use a camera. And unfortunately or fortunately, with that acting, I'm talking like I don't know how to use my camera. So that's what the audio is coming out. So if it doesn't make sense, it's because I'm pretending like I don't know how to use my camera and I'm saying it out loud. So I, I, I quite literally seem like a crazy person. And this actually works to my benefit because most people in New York don't want to interact with crazy people. I don't know if you know this. This is going to be a busy frame. See, I looked over here and I just said, you know, cars and too many people are crossing at the same time. It's just a, a busy, busy frame right now. It's just too busy right now. I'm going to waste some of my time just waiting for some interesting subjects to kind of walk in the frame here. See Gajin all the way down there at the top of the block, not shooting either. So this proved to be the same thing as last time. It's pretty difficult when you kind of lock yourself into one spot and you got to work it for a while. It's really difficult to find frames. So I'm kind of working on this frame here. See if we can wait for somebody interesting to walk in. I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect. I'm not. <laughs> Do it in nice. the light. Thank Do it in the light. Yeah. Let me see. Like right on this line. There you go. What? <laughs> uh huh. I thought that lady was yelling at me to take her picture. I guess not. I mean, who needs a professional photographer, right? All right, so let's see how that turned out. All right, figured, yeah, look at Jason right over here, scoping it out. He's seeing some stuff, doing a little reconnaissance here. I'm hoping that gentleman walked into my frame and he did. He did. For someone that just really, really enjoys street photography, um, this is a game changer. You know, I, I love that wider focal length. I've had some gems, even in the short time that I've used this, that I really like, uh, that I printed. And good lord, the focusing is fast. Pointing this in the general direction and then using it. But. We will say that overall, the weight, the balance, and all this kind of stuff it actually works really well. Actually works really well. Oh, and our timer is done. Okay, my time is up. Let's go back to Gajin right now and see what we got. Right. So I'm done shooting. And uh, just so the public knows, I'm actually here at the middle under the Flying Golden Horse. And there's no Jason to be seen. Oh, he's actually interacting with someone. Oh, he's a sneaky one. All right. So I'm done. I'm here. Let's see if he's going to be here anytime soon. All right, here he comes, folks. Here he comes. How'd that go? Make way. Make way. Bruh, huh? How about that way? All right. That's should it. I give you my impressions or should I give you, let you, actually, I'll give you my first impressions. Mm -hmm. Compared to last time, because we did do this once already. Yeah. I got to say, this one seems more fun right now. Really? Okay. More unique subjects, a little bit of harder shadows. Okay. However, felt like the last time I was here, there was one or two gems on this side of the street. Okay. I didn't. I don't. I don't feel like I got a gem yet. Yeah. I don't know if I got a gem either. I like the vibe of it right now, but it's a lot of tourism right now. It's mm. not like a whole lot of people mm. just relaxing. Gotcha. But I did get a portrait of this young lady passing by us right now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna switch to this side of the street. It's a little more calm, a little more focused, and uh, we'll see what I get. Let's see. All right, round all two. Right. So we set the timer one round, more time. Round, round two. Here round we go, folks. Two. All right, let me Here we go one more timer. Let's do 15 minutes this time because it went set off a little early. Set a timer for 15 early. minutes. All right. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Come on, Siri. Don't tell me just a moment. It started, started a long time oh ago. Mine's goodness. down to 14 now. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. All right, here we go. Round two, folks. All right, let's walk to our corner real quick and see what we got. But it's already going down over here, it looks like. Light is hitting fairly nice here in Chinatown, especially on these signs up here. Look at this guy creeping on my shot over here. This guy's all up in it. Immediately, I just need to fix this lens so you can actually see this. So, I have, uh, I guess I should tell you what the specs are again. Let me tell you one more time what the specs are I'm rocking right now. So, we're at F11, ISO is at auto, maximum tops out at 6400. So, it's going to decide whether we go 160 or 200. Um, and then the shutter speed, I've actually kept it at 1. 500th of a second because I feel like I need to actually stop the image and freeze the motion as much as possible um, and the focus is right now on wide tracking with face detect on so I'm giving a little bit more trust to the camera for this sort of scenario high pressure situation we'll see how that works out um, but yeah the competition am I allowed to shoot my competition I think he's over here trying to get my shot. I, I go, oh, okay. I had to shoot this young lady. The outfit's incredible. I'm running out of things to shoot, guys. 
especially when no one's around. I don't know what the hell to shoot. Well, let's see how much time we got left here now. Three minutes, 42 seconds. Interesting. Interesting. So frame you need And do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Okay. We might not have a winner, but we have someone in the ballpark. All right, I haven't really walked this side of the street that much, so I'm gonna go all the way down to the opposite end and see what I can get. We ain't got a home run, but we're definitely on base. Okay? We're definitely on base. Oh, come on. Tell me I got it. Tell me I got it. All right. All right. I'm gonna check my timer right now. And two. I was about to just, I was about to, I was just about to That's sprint it. all the way there and back. We're done. All right. How do you so, feel? How do you feel right now? I, I think I got a couple photos, nothing that I would really love. I absolutely love the idea of this series. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, at the end of the day to get out there That's and you know, we're not in each other's spaces. But yeah. it still feels like a shared experience. Yes, it's a shared experience, but it really highlights what we see because a lot of the people that I photograph are walking in your direction and vice versa. So it'll be interesting to see what we both selected at the end of the day. You know what I mean? If we even photograph the same people. So, all right. I'm excited to check that out. Let's go and take a look at these pictures. Go look at these photos. Back to the studio where we're going to drop all these files onto my computer to right make now. sure that they are there. Goodbye, pal. Thank you for uh, having us for the first episode of the One Block series, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, stick around. Because every time a photographer visits me in town, we'll do another episode of this. And I'll feature my brother and some of my friends, all these different photographers. Godwin was the first, but he won't be the last, and he won't be the only time he's on this. Definitely. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Let's do this.